there's no denying it. Things are a little weird right now. Everything that's going on in the world, being so isolated, it's taking its toll on just about everyone. People handle these things differently, but I think a lot of us as creatives are feeling pretty off lately. Spending all of this time stuck inside, staying positive, and continuing to work, it's just not easy to do right now. I've been finding myself in certain patterns that I feel like have been negatively impacting my creativity and growth. Feeling stuck, both figuratively and literally, really isn't a good feeling. And while it's not exactly fun, I certainly want to make the most of the time we have being stuck at home in quarantine, so I've come up with a few habits that I think we should all try and avoid, especially right now. The first one I know you've probably heard, but hear me out. Spending too much time comparing yourself to others. Consumption and comparison is sort of inevitable for us as creators, especially when we're locked in our homes. I'm sure I'm not the only one whose screen time has probably hit an all-time high over the last few weeks. But we have to be careful because too much comparison can end up being toxic and actually kill our inspiration and drive. So in order to avoid feeling like you suck, I think we need to change the way we consume. I know this sounds strange at first, but making this shift in perception has helped me a lot and I think it can help you too. Allow yourself to consume content as a viewer and not always as a creator. I, I get it, this sounds weird, but Think of it this way. Watching a magician perform is one of the purest forms of entertainment. This is because you're so focused on appreciating the act that you're just not concerned with the smoke and mirrors. That is unless you do magic yourself. In that case, it's easy to end up letting entertainment take a backseat to analysis. Whether we like it or not, our brains as creators will inevitably almost forget how to appreciate a video or photo and just end up comparing it to our own especially when we're feeling down or uninspired. I suspect this is partially due to ego, but if we can make a conscious effort to consume as a viewer and not always as a creator, we can avoid that shitty feeling of comparison and even take away more from what we watch. When we spend too much time thinking in a creator's mindset, we get so caught up in all of the micro details, like, oh, these shots are incredible. Colors are so much cleaner than mine. The editing, the music, just, ah! We'll get so easily caught up in comparison that we'll often end up overlooking the bigger picture, the impact the video made, the story it told, the emotion it created. These elements of a video matter so much more than all of the micro details. If you're someone who watches a lot of content and you often find yourself comparing and feeling really down after, finding a balance between consuming as a viewer versus a creator should ultimately allow you to enjoy content just a little more. The next one is pretty simple, not writing down your ideas. They pop into your mind randomly throughout the day. Sometimes they're small and insignificant, while other times they can lead to your next big project. We all like to think our memory is good, but the truth is it's so incredibly easy to simply forget those smaller ideas. The good news is there's a really simple way to get better at not forgetting them. It's writing them down. This isn't just like guru mumbo jumbo either, it's science. When you write something down, you use multiple regions of the brain to encode the information. It's sort of like backing up your data on your computer to like another hard drive. It creates a stronger bond with that memory. Neuropsychologists call this the generation effect because you're more likely to remember things you generate yourself than you are to remember things you heard or just briefly thought about. The act of physically writing them down makes them more real. It makes them tangible it helps to hold you accountable. Some studies have shown that you're about 40% more likely to achieve your goals if you just write them down. When you have ideas and inspirations, it's easy to feel like the small ones are pointless or not significant enough to expand upon. The problem is, is once you forget them, they're gone. There really isn't a way to know when a random thought might actually be huge. Writing down your ideas not only helps you to develop the good ones, but it gives the small ones a chance to be revisited and not just simply forgotten. In fact, the idea that started this video was a single sentence that was said on a phone call a couple of months ago. If you're someone who isn't exactly fond of writing, like me, one thing that I found to make writing just a little bit more enjoyable is finding a good pen, as surprising as it sounds. A lot of us might feel it's really easy to just resort to taking notes down on your phone, but physically writing them down really does just create so much more impact and meaning to what you're writing. So do yourself a favor and get yourself a good notebook and pen. 
I personally have been really enjoying these tool needlepoint pens. They write incredible. I'll leave a link to both these down in the description below. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is something that I have personally been struggling a lot with lately, and it's taking too many breaks. As filmmakers, we go through high and low phases of creativity. It's almost impossible to avoid this because the creative process just quite simply isn't linear. The important part here is making sure we don't give ourselves too much rope when we do decide to take those breaks. This is especially true when we don't have deadlines set to keep ourselves accountable. If you're a freelancer or just doing this as a hobby, you're essentially your own boss. You can tell yourself when it's okay for a project to be done or not to be done. Sometimes it can be really tempting to get just a couple of hours of work done and then feel like, hey, yeah, I did some good work. Now I'm gonna go play some Call of Duty. Don't get me wrong, it is very important to take breaks here and there. If you don't, you'll burn out, but you can't get in the habit of coddling yourself. You have to do your best to keep yourself accountable. One of the best ways that I've found to help out with this is to set a deadline, but instead of relying on yourself to hit that deadline, ask a friend to hold you to it. Like, I get it, no one likes having to ask for outside help, but sometimes it's important to recognize your own weaknesses swallow your own pride and get some outside help so you can develop better habits. Now, our last habit to avoid is not allowing yourself to shoot for fun. Remember back when you made your first few videos? Now you probably think they suck, but back then when you first started, you made things with little to no consequence or expectation. You allowed yourself to run with an idea and just try new things. Once it was all said and done, it was a lot easier to feel proud of your work because those expectations just weren't there. Over time, as we develop and improve as creators, our standards for our work go up. This is a good thing, obviously, but the truth is that it can become a huge barrier. You may reach a point where you feel like shooting for fun isn't worth your time, like you've become too good for it. Now the videos you used to make, maybe vlogs or cinematic sequences or whatever, simply have no value to you. My point here is you're wrong. If you don't believe me, just look at David Sandberg, or as he's known on YouTube, Pony Smasher. Here's a guy who has worked at the highest level of filmmaking like, he's literally directed huge blockbuster films. If there's anyone who has a right to feel like they're too good, it's him. And yet, he still takes the time to make YouTube videos. The truth is that becoming a better filmmaker doesn't just happen when you practice your filming and editing. It happens at every step of the creative process. It happens when you write down your ideas and hold yourself accountable. It happens when you watch content for fun, and when you push through the urge to take a break. It's okay to not always be working to create your next best piece of work. Focus on improving yourself and your work will improve alongside you. If you guys enjoyed this video, this self-development type of content, let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more, what kinds of stuff you'd wanna see, or leave a thumbs up on the video. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't ask a lot of you guys, just go down there. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.